Hello everyone, I welcome you to my channel. Today I am going to show you a very easy and effective solution for an issue that many of my students were asking that is why this MySQL is not starting in Xamarin server or why MySQL is you know shut down unexpectedly in Xamarin server. So in this video we are going to discuss about these issues. So if you just you know uh, go to this search icon and search XAMPP and just simply uh, open this XAMPP server and if you just you know start your Apache server first and then as you can see this Apache server has been you know rightly started but when you click on start for MySQL you will be seeing that this port first assigned and then later as you can see this MySQL has been you know shut down unexpectedly and this my SQL is currently stopped and so is basically showing start so if you again click on start you will see first this port has been assigned and then it will you know automatically shut down unexpectedly right so what's the issue right so for that you know you need to just first minimize it and then uh, go to this PC and then uh, go inside that C directory and then XAM and then simply go inside this my SQL directory right so just go inside that and in here you will be seeing this data directory so the problem lies over here so for that what you need to do is you need to just you know simply right click on it and then rename and now just you know simply rename it to old just old right now you need to simply create a new folder then just simply you know give it a name as a data so what we are doing is we are just you know simply replacing our corrupted data with our new data so here you'll be seeing that so many files over here but this is just newly created data we have no data so for that SQL you know rightly provided a backup solution so this is the directory where you know you will be getting this backup files so what you need to do is you need to just you know simply select all files and then just simply right click on it and then copy then just uh, go a directory back and here you will be getting this data directory that is newly created then just you know simply right click on it and then just paste give it a time to you know copying all the backup files from backup to data so now that you know you have rightly copied all backup files in your data directory that you have you know newly created and now it's time for you know to migrate all databases that you have previously previously created so for that you know just simply go inside this data old directory that you know you have just recently renamed and now just simply select your databases that you have you know created earlier so this mysql and wordpress is basically you know mysql is a default database that usually come from the, uh, after installing XAMPP so you need to create uh, click uh, so you need to you know select this mysql and wordpress is basically you know what a database that i have created i have also made a video on how to you know uh, install wordpress and how to use wordpress for free in your local host so i have made that video so for that i have you know installed this wordpress so this is one database that i have created in your case you might have you know created some other databases so you will be you know listing all those databases over here all those databases folder rather so what you need to do is you need to just simply select all those folders then just simply you know right click on it and then copy and now just go a directory back and in here just see, you know go inside this uh, newly created folder that is this data now just you know, again you know right click on it and then paste and now you'll be seeing this databases that you have you know created earlier has been you know rightly copied over here just remember one thing what we did is we we are basically you know selecting all databases that we have created earlier not this performance schema and php my admin you need to leave these two folders over here you need to copy only those databases that you have created so we are leaving these two folders over here this is very important so now that you know you have rightly copied your old databases now it's time for to copy this ib data one file 
So for that just again go inside this uh, database old directory and then you will be seeing this IB data one file it's uh, 77 MB so just you know sim again simply right click on it and then copy and then go a directory back and in here just you know go inside that newly created data then again right click on it and then paste and and you know it will tell you that you have already this uh, ib data one file so what we'll be doing is we'll be just you know so you can simply replace this file so that you know we get all our database back and now just again just if you just minimize it and then uh, open your exam and if you just again click on start you'll be seeing that your issue has been rightly solved now if you just again click on admin And you'll be seeing this PHP my admin has been you know rightly opened over here and this is and and here as you can see this Apache server has been you know rightly started and also your MySQL has been again rightly started so this is a small video that I have made for many of my students who are basically you know not being able to solve this uh, issue so that's all for this video friends uh, so uh, this is a small promotion of our website this is basically our website geekiskit.com you can check this our website here you'll be getting many tutorials along with some blogs that I have written over here you'll be getting all those tutorials over here right so that's all for this video friends thank you very much for watching this video if you like this video then please give it a like and also do share with your friends so thank you very much for watching this video and God bless you all